Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and the Kremlin is telling us it's one step from war. As Trump warns, he will hit Syria again after his attack on Russia's allies, Assad, triggers fear of World War III. Kremlin has warned the U.S. it is one step from war over Syria, but Trump administration hit back by saying it will be prepared to carry out airstrikes again. In the first direct American raid on Bashar al-Assad's forces, President Trump authorized firing 59 cruise missiles on a military airfield. I heard it was 62. Uh, two went in the sea and one didn't go off or something. I don't know. Anyway, Russian President Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev denounced the U.S. for attacking the legitimate government of Syria and for allegedly, allegedly breaking international law without the approval of the U.N. Mr. Medvedev said the military action is a clear indication of the U.S. president's extreme dependency on the views of Washington establishment, one that the new president strongly criticized in his inauguration speech. Soon after his victory, I know that everything would depend on how Trump's election promise how soon Trump's election promises will be broken by the existing power machine. Took only two and a half months. Uh Mr Med but uh, you can get bent. Last remaining election fog is lifted instead of an overworked statement about a joint fight against the biggest enemy ISIS, the Trump administration Proved that it will fiercely fight the legitimate Syrian government. But the U.S. president warned he would do it again after unleashing a surprise attack on the Syrian regime with a massive show of firepower. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, officials said it was in retaliation for Assad's use of chemical weapons and would deter further atrocities. USA Ambassador to the UN Nikki Haley said that her country had taken a very measured step. She added, We are prepared to do more, but hope it will not be necessary. Here's the thing Obama's been wait, waging war in Syria using proxy armies all the while. I'm kind of having second thoughts on this because. While well, Obama raged war with proxy armies, Trump apparently isn't going to hide like that. He does everything out in the open. I mean, he used Amer American military, whereas Obama uses uh, little Muslim Brotherhood friends all over the place to wage his private little wars, topple governments. That type of thing, and media gives him complete free pass on all that. At least Trump does what he does out in the open. And I can't say that for Obama or Hologram Hillary. Uh, those two are just an unbelievable mess. I don't believe in uh, pissing off. Angering the reg Russian bear, pissing the Russians off, but on the other hand, as far as I'm concerned, the Russians can get bent. That's exactly what I think. So, I don't know. Maybe this just sends a message to the uh, dictators and slime of this world that. Uh, they're going to be facing our wrath if they screw up. Uh, I don't know. I think it definitely uh, rattled, their, rattled some cages. There's no question of that. Here's some pictures of Damaged uh, hangers and stuff, and that's Tomahawk 
flying out from a guided missile destroyer in the USS Ross. The U.S. strike was a proportional response to unspeakable acts that gave rise to overwhelming humanitarian distress, said U.K. Ambassador Matthew Rycroft. That's about it. I'm uh, starting to see things a different way now. Like I said, the Russians can get bent. So, uh... I'm not as upset as I was for a while. I, w I wouldn't bother with that Middle Eastern sand pile, like I said. I would tell the Russians, okay, you're sand pile, you take the refugees. We're out of here. That's just me. I'm on the facts of Mars. Thanks for watching.